Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fuji's Blitz and uh, it's been a long time mainly because I've been doing the Pro Tour series live streaming and other things in between but I'm back baby yeah and I was asked to look at this tank recently on a live stream that I was doing in Asia the Chinese T34-3 it's a tier 8 premium tank it's a medium tank but to be perfectly honest with you it's a tricky tank to get to grips with. Why? Well, we'll get to that in a moment. The thing is, I mean, it looks just like a T-54, let's be honest. Looking at uh, the sidebar here, damage, well, to be honest with you, it's pretty, pretty good. Rate of fire, not so good. Penetration is not the best. Armor, we'll get to that later. Speed, so let's have a look at its more detailed stats. You can see there it's got uh, HP of 1378, which isn't bad. The, uh, the armor on the turret is not bad, but the hull is pretty weak. Concealment, mm, well, it's about average. DPM at 1700 is okay. Reload time at 14 seconds is not. Penetration isn't the best, but the damage is spectacular. Aim time, mm, pretty long. And this is the big, look at that depression, five degrees. I mean, it's bloody awful. So let's stick it into tank compare and see how it matches up. And as you can see straight away, DPM in penetration is pretty bad. One of the worst actually in the tier. Its alpha damage however is massively good. Rate of fire, pretty, pretty poor apart from the Chimera which tops it. Reload time, again pretty poor, but again the Chimera tops it. Caliber wise, I mean it's massive, 122mm gun and it dishes out a very poor shell velocity. The aim time, oh it's a second, it's not too bad, but look at that gun depression, 5 degrees. It's absolutely not good, but it is based on a Russian tank. Now, what you're seeing here, therefore, is that basically you'd be better off with the T-34 II. But it does have a few tricks up its sleeve, funnily enough. That does give it a slight advantage over its tech tree counterpart. As you can see now, I was flipping through all the ammunition types, and its penetration and DPM is pretty pants, but overall its alpha damage is very, very good. Thing is about this tank is you are gonna struggle with that gun. You can't play it like a medium. You really have got to play it like a heavium because of that very long load time and that very, very long aim time. The gun handling can be pretty, pretty bad. Now I said that there are parts of this tank it's got a little trick up its sleeve and it does. And it's the credit co-efficiency. Now the credit co-efficiency on this thing is a whopping 170% which is double that of its tech tree counterpart. And as you can see, only the other premium tanks can compete with it. Win rate wise, it's got a decent win rate. It's not got the worst. You can see there that Pentara and the Panther II and the T-44-100 is worse. What about this armor though? Well, it's a typical Russian medium based tank, whereby it's got very poor hull armor and a very rock solid turret. This is it facing off against a Tiger II. And as you can see, the thing about the turret is that those two cupolas, the commander and the loader's cupolas, are very, very easy to pen if you're in a Tiger II. You've got to go haul down, because if you don't, then everybody's going to hurt you. It's as simple as that. Looking at the loadout, this is what I load it out with. I stick it with calibrated shells just for that extra oomph. I have um, obviously the defense mechanism and all the other bits and bobs there. Why? Because I find it more useful. But what's it like to play in the game? Well, as I said, you've got to really play this tank like a heavium. It's not a true medium. And the reason I say that is because of that gun. Plus, it can be a little bit sluggish mobility-wise. It's not the fastest tank. It's pretty heavy for what it is, but it's the gun that lets it down. With a 14 second aim time, uh, load time, sorry, and quite a long aim time, coupled with the fact it's got Chinese-Russian dispersion, you know, the gunners aren't exactly great. 
you've really got to be careful with this one guys if you front line it then you're gonna get unstuck very quickly it really is more of a second line support you can snipe in it but ooh, I wouldn't say it's the best because of that dispersion and that good obviously you could put the rifle barrel on it um, instead of everything in, you know in the equipment loadout and that will help it but in fairness this is a second line medium support tank it loves being hauled down it can only be hauled down you can see here the mobility is not bad it's 40 kilometers an hour but and, and the penetration values are okay you, you will bounce a few things that i won't disagree with but when you do land a shot boy are you churning out damage i mean i've only knocked out what three rounds in this game so far and already i've churned out next to 1500 unfortunately we do go on to win this game but um, the enemy team are at the top of the of the map i'm at the bottom of the map and this tank is just not that quick to get up there i'm afraid plus it's a supremacy game and we needed to win so i thought capping the base was an idea it's a tricky tank to play and the reason i say it's tricky is purely because of that gun once you are used to its aim time and load time however and you understand its armor it is a beautiful tank to play you can trade to an extent here i'm going to trade here with the chimera and we knock each other equally for good damage and that's the thing i mean this tank has the ability to dish out a lot of pain for a medium tank i mean when you're doing i alpha rolls of 400 on your standard ap in a tier 8 game in a medium people will look twice at you but it comes at a cost in that cost is the excessively long load time the, the the actual gun handling which isn't bad but it isn't great and the lack of hull armor once you've mastered the fact that it's purely hull down and it's got a really long load time you can have a lot of fun in this thing i mean i like it to be fair and as you can see, I'm not frontlining it at all. I'm playing it as a second line medium tank. And when you play it like that, as a sort of medium stroke heavy, boy, you can have some good, good fun in it. Okay, you can come on stuck. Like I said, everybody's going to pen your hull and you're going to see that in a moment. The problem with this tank is, whilst it is great all down, it has absolutely shocking gun depression. I mean, five degrees is just painful. I mean, look, I can't even get it down a little bit onto that thing, which means I have to stand in the open a little bit to get a penetration into the IS-5, and he smacks me for an equal amount. So this is, this is where it becomes unstuck a little bit. More gun depression for this tank would have been nice. However, that would have made it really really well not broken but it would have made it phenomenally difficult to fight against i mean if you give this thing even another three degrees of gun depression knock it up to eight degrees this thing would be formidable with that turret armor and that gun and it would just be an absolute nightmare to counter i think the tank's balanced a lot of people think it's a bit meh because of the gun etc etc but i don't i think it's a, a it's quite a nicely balanced tank and it's a tank that forces you to firstly take your time and secondly understand your positioning and your role on the battlefield and to me that's not a bad thing i think that's a great thing unfortunately the htc that we're going to meet in a moment is afk um, and as you will see you'll see here that the penetration on this thing sometimes lets you down as it does right about now there you go anyway that is the t34 3 the chinese tier 8 medium premium tank that somebody asked me if i could review and have a look at well there you go i have been fooded hope you uh, enjoyed that i'm back in it as you can see by all means send me comments likes and everything below if you haven't yet press subscribe please do so it's a lovely thing to do and it costs you nothing 
As always, I'd like to do a big shout out to my Patreons who, without their continued support, videos like this would be a lot harder. But I'd also give a big shout out to you, the subs, who recently I hit just over 3,000. Without you guys, it would also be difficult. So thank you very much. I've been Fujit. That has been the T34-3. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.